So what I am going to do here today is show you how to disassemble the Snapmaker A350 printing module and replace the filament runout sensor inside of it. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and remove these four screws. Okay, and then go ahead and remove the plate. All right, after that, you need to go ahead and remove these four screws. This is basically a disassemb disassembly of this module in order to get to the component and the wiring for it. Make sure you keep all the screws together for each component. Okay, and after that, you will then need to replace the back side or remove the back. Now from here, you're gonna to need to remove five screws. You'll need this one, this one, and these three here. And that will allow you to remove the module from the inside. So let's go ahead and take these out. Where this one's longer than the others are. Okay, now I got those five screws out. Okay, and from here, you should be able to take this out. Everything is in here pretty snug, so be careful. And there's the sensor module that we actually need to replace is this one right here. You can see the wiring goes up and over. It comes in through here. Okay, and here is the replacement module. As you can see, it's the double white wires, which is this one right here. Keep an eye on how this is wrapped in here because you will have to remove it and then reinstall the new one the exact same way. This is on here pretty tight so you just got to be careful trying to remove it. Normally you don't grab them by the wires like I did because you could pull them out. You always want to grab it by... You want to try to grab it by these edges here when you pull it out because you might rip the wires out but since this is a bad module anyways it didn't really matter to me if I damaged it. So be prepared because this is actually a full-blown disassembly just to replace that one little sensor, the filament runout sensor. You have to dismantle the entire thing. So I must, I'll have to say, if you are not comfortable dealing with things like this, uh, actually, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Luckily, I don't really mind disassembling and reassembling electronics, so this isn't really that big of a deal to me. But with that being said, I'm actually not happy that I have to do all of this in order to repair it. I might actually have to take all of these wirings off the board in order to fully disassemble it, which I'm hoping I don't have to. So we'll see if I can get away without having to just completely undo it. But, and the good news, this is how you remove this piece. If you need to replace it, here it is, the extruder. They just got everything all tangled up in here. All right, I think I actually am gonna have to dismantle more than what I wanted. So before you start pulling these out, make sure you get a good, good look at how everything plugs back in again.
In this case, I, since I will be reusing these components, I will pull these out properly. We got everything all wrapped up around each other in here. There's that. Let's remove this one too. Here's the fan. Let's see if I can get away with just what's left. I think I can get, yeah, I can finish the rest without dismantling anything else. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and remove these two screws. That with the extruder. Okay, at this point, the rest of the module comes out. And here's where we can now take out the sensor. So it looks like this one's a star pattern, but the hex should fit. And it does. Keep an eye on the orientation of this because you need to put the replacement sensor back in an exact same way. So it looks like, okay. So you can see the way it's placed in here. I don't know if you can or not, but the switch piece is on the top and the open end is on the bottom. So you wanna place the replacement exactly the same way. Just like the old one, you're gonna need to bend these a little bit. Just be careful with it. One thing of note, when you put everything back in together, you will notice these screws have, I don't know well you can see it, but there's a little blue on the end of it. Right there. So that's removable thread lock on here so that the screws don't accidentally work their way out. So when you reassemble everything, you wanna put just a little bit of thread locker back on it again. That way you don't have to worry about the screws working their way out. Usually just a little bit goes a long way. You don't need too much on it. And do make sure you use the blue removable one because if you don't, the last thing you want is for it to get permanently stuck there. Okay, right now I'm not making it tight, just loose. That way I can shift it around and get the other screw in there properly. And then I'll go back and re-tighten it. Okay, and go back and tighten them up. Okay, at this point we got the two screws back in. You wanna make sure it's nice and tight in here. Okay, and now we can go ahead and take the old one off. Remove it from there. And now we got to go through the fun of reassembly again. Okay, these have thread locker on it as well, so let's go ahead and put some more on it. Let's go ahead and get the fan back in here. 
when you put it in make sure that the hole opening is facing down as you can see all of the three sides are closed off or make sure that the metal is facing the back where the two screw holes are that way you can screw it back into the case That piece fits inside the fan where the opening is. So I don't see any thread locker on this one, so I'll go ahead and leave it off. Don't need to tighten it up or anything, just get it in there so it holds it in place. Okay, that's in there now. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and put this one back in. As you'll see, there is a little gap in here. Two notches sticks out. And on this one, there's one notch that sticks out only. It slides down and fits in here. At this point, go ahead and get two more screws, get some thread lock on it. Make sure you line up the holes in here with the screws. And that looks like it's the wrong one. Okay, so don't do what I did, and I actually put the wrong screws in the wrong spot. The smaller ones go in here, and the longer ones go in the bottom. So let's go ahead and redo that. There we go. Get some locker. Wait, some locker. There we go. Now it fits. So the short screws go up here and the long screws are down for the bottom one. Okay, at this point we now need this one. Alright, just make this a little bit easier. I can't tell if they used any thread locker on this one or not. Okay, that's in there nice and snug. Alright, at this point let's go ahead and put the fan back on here. Point you want to make sure this piece is flush with the fan there's no like open spaces you just want it flush against it so now that it is now we can go ahead and tighten this one up okay, okay now let's go ahead and start reconnecting all the cables back to the board The white one's going to go into the little one right here. Make sure you put it in the right way because in the little square you got a little notch out right here and you have a little groove right here. You want to make sure you those slide in. Okay. 
Okay. There it is. All the cables are back in. Let's go ahead and get this in here. There we go. You do want to make sure that this piece does fit into the, the cutout. If you don't, then it's not going to align. The screw holes won't align, so you won't be able to screw it back in again. All right, again, let's go ahead and get some thread locker on here. I'm doing just poking at some cables. I can see the sensor cables are sticking out a little bit. I'm trying to push it in so it gets out of the way. All right. So at this point, we are almost complete. All we need to do is just finish the reassembly of it. There we go. Disassembled and reassembled. Hopefully this filament run out works. I'm going to go ahead and hook this back up and I'll go ahead and give it a try and test it out. Make sure everything works fine. That is a disassembly and reassembly of the 3D printing module in order to replace the fill out the filament run out sensor. I'm going to go ahead and hook it back up. I'll go ahead and run it and make sure well, make sure it still works. Make sure I got everything plugged in there properly, but it should be fine. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate you watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Again, y'all take care. Stay safe out there.